After a sweet, sweet victory against the Pittsburgh Steelers, a divisional foe, we go back to the dog pound to face the New York football giants. Thanksgiving weekend, everybody's probably tired of leftovers at this point, so while they're munching on the turkey and the dressing leftover from Thursday, they can watch a little action between Eli Manning and me, Pork Chop. So, without further ado, let's get this game. After a New York Giants possession, we finally get the ball, and as you can see, we got decent field position, so I give it to Cromartie. He takes it for a few yards to the left as always and then the very next play second nine I drop back I throw and it's incomplete wish it was caught but you know what it's okay so next play third and nine I get picked off didn't even see the defender there I am just kicking myself right now I am really pissed that I threw that didn't even see the defender so the next possession is currently 10 to nothing Crowell once again to the left as he always does and then the very next play, second nine, I throw it and just failure to communicate, it seems, on that one. Didn't even see him even try to catch the ball. Oh, and there we go. Third and five, crucial pickup. First down, Cleveland Browns. So Crowell hands it. This time it goes up the middle, picks up a big chunk of yards. I am going to guess at least nine. Yep, second and one. I throw deep to throw the New York Giants off, and they almost pick it off me trying to throw them off and that's my bad I shouldn't have done that so third and one Crowell picks up the one yard like he's supposed to that's what I should have done in the first place give it to him again cuts to the left and then the very next play after that it is second and nine I drop back I throw up the middle and it is a big pickup and we are two yards away from being in the red zone and Crowell puts us in said red zone so second and six I throw up the middle, pick up the first down, inching closer to that goal line. I can almost smell it. So another drop back. I decide to run, and I pick up a couple of yards. It is a Christmas miracle, at least. So I throw up the middle, and it is incomplete. I'd rather it be incomplete than intercepted. Everybody knows that. So the next play, third and goal. I drop back, and it is incomplete. So we have to settle for the field goal on that one the very next possession inside of the two minutes. Let's see if we can do a two minute offense here. So throw it, gets out of bounds, exactly what we needed, get out of bounds. So next play, second and five. Throw it deep and it is almost caught, almost picked, almost doesn't count. So it is now third and five. So I drop back and there we go. And I decide to do a hurry up offense and go for it on fourth down. Hopefully this won't cost us anything. And I go to the exact same play, exact same receiver, and he almost gets out of bounds. I really wish he would have gotten out of bounds. So another hurry up offense play coming at you. So once again, I drop back, I throw, and he picks up a big chunk of yards. Gary Barnage coming in through the clutch. It is now on the 14 yard line inside that red zone again. And here we go. 29, 28, up, oh, up, oh, up, oh, is he going to score? Nope, he does not score. He almost gets in there. It is at the two-yard line. Once again, hurry up offenses for days. I drop back, throw it, and luckily he gets a yard, and he gets out of bounds exactly what I was hoping for, and it happened. So I look, I look, nobody's open, and wouldn't you know it, I scored my first rushing touchdown as a Cleveland Brown in the NFL. Loving it, absolutely loving it, tying it, going into the second half so we get the ball first in the second half and I hand it off to Crowell as always he picks up yardage going to the left and I hand the ball off it is currently now third and five let's see if we can pick up this first down like we need and wow right down the middle it's like almost automatic when I throw down the middle it seems so Crowell up the middle so second and seven I throw to the left, and it is picked off by Dominique Rogers Cromartie. That guy is a legend. I can't even be mad. He is a master of his craft, and he is trying to piss off the dog pound, and I think it worked. So I throw it deep, and it almost back-to-back -back picks. Luckily, it was not that time. So I drop back. I decide, hey, I'm going to pick up some yardage here because I have so much speed. Not. But I do pick up a big chunk, and... That's all that matters. Third and three. 
instead of a third and long. So I roll out to the right, pick up the first down. The drive continues. The dog pound's feeling me right now. I'm feeling good. So nobody is open, so I decided to take it up the middle, and I pick up eight yards, making it a second and two. Very next play, I throw deep, hoping to catch the New York Giants off guard, and it does not work. So third and two, hand it off again to the middle, and picks up a chunk of yards. Now at the 34-yard line, I decide to call hurry-up offense to avoid the two-minute warning. And I don't think the Giants were ready for it, and I catch them off guard, and it is a touchdown. Browns, Gary Barnage once again coming through in the clutch. So the ne very next possession, we are at the four-yard line. Got to get 96 yards to get in the end zone. Do a fake play action. I dump it off, and I almost get the first down. So I decided to call a hurry up, and once again, the New York Giants were not expecting it. And look who takes it to the house. Isaiah Crowell coming through in the clutch. Touchdown, Browns, up 24-17 to under the two-minute warning. So the very next possession, it is tied now. The Giants get a touchdown. So I'm trying to play clock management here, and it is not working. I call a timeout instead of doing the hurry up. I throw deep, hoping to, nope, and it is incomplete. Hoping to catch them off guard once again because I just it seem to be doing that today. So another third and four. I throw it deep. And unfortunately, that is the last play that I can show you. The New York Giants got a touchdown in overtime. So this is another incident where we lost in overtime without even touching the ball. But regardless, I hope you guys had a very happy Thanksgiving. And I hope plenty of food, family, and football did you some good. So thank you all so much once again. Let's try back next week trying to get the victory.